Now, New Balances, since you've been in jail, New Balances are like a nationwide thing now. Everybody's wearing the dad sneakers. Um, you know, Philly been on New Balances for like the last five five to seven years. Mm -hmm. um, but it's always a, a, a online discussion on who started the New Balances. Is it Baltimore? Is it Philly? Is it is it Maryland? Is it DC? That's not even up for discussion, man. That ain't even up for discussion, man. Come on, man. Niggas know where New Balances came from, man. Like, nigga, Jim Jones knew what he was doing with that post, man. But niggas know where New Balances came from, man. New Balances started in DC. Like when 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 he, when we was having that argument and everybody was in it, Jim Jones, Meek, a couple of good dudes from Baltimore was in it. I kept telling them niggas, go cat, go bring me some pictures of y'all OGs and y'all big homies in the sixties and seventies. And they in the club with big gold chains on and all that with some new balances on. Go find me y'all old old heads back in the day in the 60s, 70s, and 80s wearing new balances. Because I got 50 pictures right here of all the big homies in D.C. from back in the day in the club with thousands of dollars worth of clothes on and some new balances on. We've been doing that. That ain't even up for discussion. Yeah, because that, that starts a lot of arguments on the blog. It do, but like arguments that. is fun. Like, that's... That's what blogs is for, it's for people to debate and get their get a opinion. Yeah. So it didn't start in Baltimore, it started in D.C. Shout out to Baltimore, shout out to Philly, shout out to New York, and everybody else who support New Balances and Nike Boost. But New Balances and Nike Boost started in the District of Columbia. Man. Straight up, y'all heard it here first.